but you look good and I saw the pilot and you are amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're so welcome. Listen, congratulations, Rebel, going down April 8th. How does it feel, my love? Amazing. Amazing. This is the first show that I'm leading on, um, which speaks volumes to an actor who's who's been at this for some time you know um i'm very grateful that we are even able to complete our season because of covid we've been holding on to this for so long i audit my first audition was in 2019 so it's been a long time coming i'm really happy that we're now able to show it yeah like you said you're not new to this you are true to this you've been doing this for a very long time so yeah. Tell me, Rebel Cassidy, the character that you play, she is Rebel's daughter and she's a lawyer. Why Rebel? Why this show? And what do you love about Cassidy so much? Um, why this show? Because it is a kick-ass script. It just is. It is it's not what you usually see on network television, which I appreciate. By no means is it a legal drama. And I love that. There's a combination of everything in this show. There's there's the legal component, but there's also doctors and there's recovering addicts, there's family dynamic, there are love triangles. It's it's a little bit of everything. There's drama and it's humor. And that is the reality of every single person just as a human on a day-to-day -day basis. Everything isn't always dramatic. Everything isn't always funny. We kind of combine everything and it's super, super grounded because of that. So that's what attracted me to this in the first place when I first read the script. As a matter of fact, it is the only pilot that I auditioned for that season of wow. pilot season. And that's the only thing I read that I was like, okay, yes to this. I'm going to go for this. I was extremely gravitated towards the script. Um, I love my character, Cassidy. She's super, super vibrant, super passionate, very colorful. Um, and she still is a lawyer, but she doesn't have to fit within like the stereotypical lawyer of being just like, you know, very tight and very straight and narrow. She she brings all of herself to the courtroom and all of herself to each case that she has. Um, but ultimately, we'll meet her in a place that's a little a little bit difficult because she has an interesting, um, not the best relationship with her mother, Rebel. Um, and so we we're throughout the season. I think we'll just watch that relationship develop um, and hopefully get to a place of love. But it does start at a very complicated um, um, place for for her and Rebel to get along. Speaking of you two and your complex relationship, she's feisty. And listen, you take after your mother because you feisty as well. <laughs> but <laughs> the character anyway. Yes. But uh, talk to me about working alongside uh, Miss Sago and, and how that was for you. I mean, her being around for a very long time, being a legend. Talk to me about working with her. It's amazing. It's fun too. I mean, she's very, very sweet and very kind to me. And it's, it's funny because we're really, we adore each other in real life, but unfortunately our characters have to constantly bump heads. So um, after every cut, we're always like, sorry, I love you. Um, Cause we just have to be so disrespectful towards each other in the, in the, in the story. But it's, it's an honor to work with her. It's an honor that she's even my TV mom now. And I love it. I love claiming that. And um, I learn a lot. I learn a lot from watching her process and learning a lot from how um, she carries a whole show. It's, it's a lot of work that she has to do showing up every single day, most likely in every single scene. And, and that's, it's not an easy job. Um, but she carries it with grace and style. I, I absolutely adore Katie. Now, I know this show was inspired by the life of Erin Brockovich. And, you know, she was the one that was, you know, standing up for people, took no for an answer. And you know what's happening in the world, you know, today. I feel like it kind of will resonate with everyone. It's kind of reflecting the times. So mm -hmm. what would you want to tell people um, in regards to this show and the biggest takeaway that you would like for them to take away? Yeah, there's a lot of social commentary here with with our show. Um, and, you know, we, the, the main thing that we discuss at the top of this is, you know, 
we're we're going against a, a big massive pharmaceutical company um but I think the main thing to take away is just knowing that you have a voice and you have the right to stand up against something um, that you feel isn't right or against an entity that you think is too big. Um, I don't think anything is too big. If, if there is something wrong that they are doing, then you have a, you have a place to say that. And um, I think that's the, the major takeaway from this. And, and the fact that Rebel and Cassie are relentless when it comes to these type of issues, that they will do anything necessary to get what they see done on the on the in behalf on on behalf of the people that it is directly affecting. Mm, I love that. Now you did before I let you go, you did mention a second ago how you love that um Katie Sago is your TV mom. And for years she was ours, you know, with Married with Children. We loved her. Yeah. So I was like, oh, vicariously through you, you get to work directly with her. <laughs> Since she is such a vet, any advice that she has given you that you would love to share with us? Um so much. Honestly, it's <laughs> most of our advice is about motherhood, if I'm honest. I just had a baby and um and she's been she's been a mom for some time. And so our our conversations are more in alignment with that, with more personal, not not directly to the work, I'll say. Um, but yeah, just just providing that extra extra advice from a woman and who's who's been caregiving for so many years and I, I learned a lot from her through that. I love that it reflects in the show as well the woman empowerment and I love that she's giving you that outside of the show. Before I let you go y'all describe um, Rebel as funny, messy, brilliant, and fearless. Yes. What is one more word that you would like to add to that list to let the people know about Rebel? Badass. Bam there you go. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>